Hello everyone, Michael Jordan fans are the best and this channel provides a platform for all great NBA fans by sharing their often unheard amazing takes with the world through live streams, interviews, and debates. In the following, I explain how Michael Jordan has been the GOAT longer than any other NBA player. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let's get into it. Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan. It's crazy to me that nearly after 30 years, Michael Jordan is still widely considered to be the undisputed go to basketball. It's crazy to me. You think about all these other guys that have come and gone. You've had Magic Johnson. You've had Larry Bird. You've had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You've had LeBron James. You've had Steph Curry. You've had Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, George Mikan. And the guy who stood on top the longest, on top of the mountain, above all, is Michael Jordan. Now, I understand that Bill Russell held the mantle for quite a while, uh, arguably about 20 years, up until around 1980 or so. And Michael Jordan since then, because Bill Russell retired in 1969, Michael Jordan was considered to be the GOAT basketball player during his first three-peat, after winning the first three-peat. <clears throat> so what's crazy to me is that he still holds that title even though you've had all these other great basketball players. You've had Tim Duncan. You've had Kobe Bryant that arguably should have been able to get over that mountaintop. LeBron James, people are arguing now that he's the GOAT. But whenever there's any sort of wide stream media polls, it's still Mike. Michael Jordan is still the GOAT. So why is that? And I brought it up before. It's the story of Michael Jordan that makes him the GOAT. It His on-court play just is what it is, and he was amazing. But what amplifies his greatness is the story. Bill Russell had an amazing story, too. First black head coach, had to deal with all the civil rights issues that plagued him and his teammates over the career, along with other uh, black players within the NBA. And he was the ultimate winner. But coming back, doing the movies, coming back from retirement to do the same thing you did without the feet of the without losing a step is really what makes Mike the GOAT. Now his on court play is something too. The defense. I think he was nine time all defense. He was defensive player of the year. He was MVP. Many team many time all NBA. Many time all star. I believe he was a two- or three-time All-Star MVP as well. It's just something that is just far and beyond everyone else. And the whole story, I don't think it's going to be surpassed in a long time. People are arguing that it, that there are guys that are the GOAT over him as of late. But I think the story is just too much for it to actually be considered by the mainstream media at this point. Now, if people forget about Mike, then maybe the story to me is just too fantastic for uh, people to disregard, though. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And for everyone, Michael Jordan fans are the best.